Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you today? Good so far. Give me just a second here. I'll be back. Let me get this ready. Ready for another class? Sure. That's the Good evening. Good evening. Do we need it? Everyone, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Do we need it, compañero? Turn on my camera. Compañera. How are you? How are Compañeras. you? Doing? Yes. Are you okay? Are you good? Are you there? Okay. Yes, teacher. Everything is good. I working. I. And so tired. You are tired. Okay. I'm very happy, teacher. You sorry? I'm very you? happy. Oh why? Okay, yeah, I imagine. <laughs> Good night, Beren. Good night, Juan. Imagine that it was because you were having like a set of day off or something. Uh, good evening, everybody, and great to see you. I see Ricardo Mauricio. here. Mauricio, good evening. Andrea, Ruben, great to see you guys. And Menedemo, thank you so much for joining, guys. Um, thank you so much for being here, like super early as well. Uh, we are having, yeah, as Belen said, today is the last day, right? So tomorrow we are not having classes. Um, and happy Father's Day in advance. So uh, today is class number four, Thank class so number much. five. La vamos a tener hasta el día lunes. That's gonna be on Monday, right? Dígame, Mauricio, tell me, tell me. No, I say thank you so much. Oh, all right, all right. So, um, well, I hope you are having a very good day. Oh, okay, Francisco said that he's coming. Alrighty, so we are going to continue working a little bit today with Present Perfect. Um, so we are going to continue working, talking about experiences. Vamos a hablar también un poquito de la reducción de algunas ideas, like uh, some sentence reduction. And uh, we are going to um, get started today with a little activity here. Give me one second. Okay, so yesterday we practiced a little bit the past uh, participle form of these verbs. Hi Arnoldo, good evening. Thank you for have, uh, for joining us. We are going to uh, check this in a couple of minutes, all right? Just to make sure that you totally got this. But to get started, guys, I tengo un pequeño ejercicio for you. I have a little exercise for you. Um, no le tome foto, okay? Don't take a picture, please, all right? So don't, um, yeah, don't use your phone like to take picture, para tomar nota, not really. What I want you to do is just take a look at the picture, all right? 
Les voy a dar 30 segundos. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. And uh, intenten memorizar todo lo que puedan. Try to memorize as much as you can from this picture sin tomarle nota o sin escribir de qué es lo que hay acá, right? So memorize everything, colors, numbers, everything you can, all right, related to this picture. And guys, tenemos 30 seconds now. So go. Only 30 seconds. Hey, qué guapo, qué rico. Eh. Hoy, dan ganas de cenar otra vez, para Mauricio. You have five seconds, guys. <laughs> you say que. No me lo terminar en diez segundos. Oh, hey. Okay, guys, and time is over. <laughs> okay, so uh, time is over, guys. All right, so I'm going to uh, stop presenting my screen right here. And uh, eh, tengo un par de preguntas para ustedes. I have just a couple of questions for you. Ven mi pantalla. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Oh, que okay, ven, guys. What do you see? Blue. Blue. Ah, okay. Okay. We are good. <laughs> so we are good. Okay, very good. Now, guys, ahora sí tengo un par de preguntas. I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. Um, so, las pueden escribir. You can write them in the chat. You can write just the answer, right? From the picture that I just showed you. Hi, Felix. Good evening. Gabby, good evening. I see Kenya has joined. Great to see you, Kenya. Uh, Imelda, thank you so much for joining as well. So, uh, me escriben, please write the answers to your questions in the chat, all right? So, guys, question number one. Are you ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, question number one. How many... Oh, hold on. I always forget that I don't have the keyword. How many uh, milkshakes... Okay, so question one, guys, is this one. How many milkshakes? Oh, I'm sorry, mixed the two letters. Are there in the picture? How many milkshakes? Okay, Andrea says one, Maurice says five, uh, Felix says three, Maurice, okay. Belen says only one, three mil. Oh, no, three, three, three milkshakes. Yes. Sorry. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. Anybody else? One milkshake. Okay, no worries. That's okay. Next question, guys. How many straws are there? So, how many straws are there? Okay, what is the meaning of straw? A straw, guys, son las pajillas. So, how many straws are there on the table? Sorry about that. On the table. No en las bebidas, but on the table. Felix says five, Andrea says three, okay. Si no se recuerdan, give a number, guys. That's okay, so you can definitely give a number. Two, three straws, okay. Oh, okay, sounds good. Eight, eight, three. So you have to choose one, eh, Mendedemo, eight or three, you have to pick one. Okay, guys, next one. What color? Okay, uh, Belen says four. Okay, next one. Go, what color was the background decoration? Si se fijaron en la parte de atrás había como decoración. What color was the background decoration? Okay, this is golden, black and golden. Okay, gold. Oh, sounds really good. Okay. Sounds really nice. Okay, guys, next one, goldfish. Um, okay, okay, uh, probably gold, right? Goldfish is el animalito, eh, All right, let's go <laughs> with one more. 
Are there sandwiches? Are there sandwiches? Yes or no? Okay, Andrea says no. Are you sure? Felix says no. Are you sure, guys? No, there aren't. I just see the ice cream. Okay, no. Okay, 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 cool. No, okay. Okay, guys. And the, the last question is this one. Are there popcorns? Or like something with popcorns? No sandwiches there. Okay. Are there popcorns or a popcorn bowl, play container, something? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> okay. There is one. Okay. One. Uh huh. And there is. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Sounds actually very interesting. And here is the picture, guys. Yeah, very good job. That is actually one. So let's take a look at the uh, milkshakes. Um, this was like pretty good. We have one, we have two, and we have three milkshakes. So there are only three. Estros, one, Two and three straws. So there are three straws. No, um, teacher, are four and the milkshakes is, are others. Where is the other? And the milkshakes. Five, five. Oh, no, no, on the table. That was on the table. Oh, ah, that's not correct, teacher. Wait, wait. Uh, are five. Oh, yeah, there are five if you count the ones from the milkshake. Now, but I said on the table. <laughs> no, but yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Next one is sandwiches. No, right? There isn't any no. sandwich. Then you no. got popcorn. So yeah, you got some popcorn. And uh, what was the other question? The decoration. Oh, and the decoration, right? So yeah, gold, black. So good. Good memory, guys. I need to include more pictures next time. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> no, you got a really good memory. So that is amazing. I wouldn't have remembered that. Um, Helen, good evening. Great to have you. I also see, let me see. Hi, Rafael. How are you doing? Thank you for joining already. Mm -hmm. Sounds really good. Okay, guys. So um, now, after like working on that, we are going to just review a little bit part of the things we were checking yesterday. That is um, a little of uh, experiences. Tell me, Belen. Teacher, my question is, how do you say cerezas in English? Cherries. Let me Cherries. write it in the chat. Yes. Cherries. There you go. So that's cherries. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, a, in El Salvador, we have this fruit that is super, super sour, que son las famosas guindas, right? So we call them, eh, se parecen bastante las arezas, pero son ácidas. So they have a very similar name and they are called sour cherry. So if you ever want to say guindas, so they are kind of sour cherries. Como sour, cereza. it's like the taste? Yeah, like ácido. That's the one for lemon, for oranges, for tangerines. That is sour. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Um, I have a little conversation here that I have prepared so I can listen to some of your pronunciation. This is for talking about experiences of these people. And uh, they're talking about going to Australia, right? So let's go ahead and I'd like to listen to a couple of people I haven't had the opportunity to listen before. So, uh, Helen, creo que no he escuchado su voz. I haven't heard your voice so far. Uh, Helen, can you please help us with letter A? Can you help us read it? Hello, teacher. Ah, there you go. Hi, Miss. Great to have you. So, help me please with letter A. And uh, let me see. I think I have Rafael right there. So Rafa, can you please help us with uh, letter B? So all okay, the conversation so. from letter B. Thank you so much. Letter Margarita, B, yeah. good evening. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. How do you say August? Oh, that is O, August. August. Good evening. Yes, good evening. I will help you, no worries. I will help you there. So okay. um, Helen, you are eight, so you can get us started whenever you are ready. 
Mm. Uh, Helen? Hello, teacher. There you go. Okay, please uh, help me with the with the A. So all the, the dialogue for A, please. Mm. When are you planning to go to Spanish again? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, and you continue here, Helen. Few more months to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not long to go. I have you booking the ticket. Of course, we booked ten early this year when they were offering discounts. Mm -hmm. How about uh, common accommodation? Accommodation, you remember what happened? Your uncle will he went to visit your grandmother. Yes, yes. We've already sorted the accommodation. Okay. Really? Uh, don't you say you were busy? Disney and Melbourne. Melbourne, are you sure you booked? Book accommodation for to sit. Yes, we'll be staying with a friend in Melbourne and we booked a hotel for a few nights in Sydney. And the visa, I have you, I play for it yet. What visa? Source visa to enter Australia. I have you been Australia before. You know you have to. Happily for tourists, visa to enter the country, right? Okay, all right. I haven't been back for age, okay? Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, they take like less than a week to process. So we're up closer today. Okay, then so would you like me to rain me? You then. Okay. Thank you. So thank you, Helen. Thank you, Rafael. That was like a long conversation. I know. But we're talking about like going to Australia, right? Preparing, booking and everything. So guys, let's go ahead and let's uh, repeat a couple of words that might be new to you. So first, let's get us started with this one. Guys, repeat with me. August. 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 Very nice. Next one. Booked. Book. 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 Okay, book. so you have a book, all right? But look at this. Have you booked? Have you ever? Book. Have you already booked your tickets? Book is have not like from book. a book. Uh huh. So book with is a reserved. final T. With it's a like T. Book. That is correct. Have a, it's like how would you book? Mm -hmm. It is how like book? T with T. Yes, that's correct. With Booked. a T. Exactly. Book. Yes. Uh, next word Wait. is this one. Discounts. Guys, repeat with me. Discounts. 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 Discount. Discount. The horror of history. <laughs> Accommodation. Exactly. Accommodation. 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 Like relax it a little. All right. Happened. 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 And what right. happened? Right. Uh, happened. Happened. What happened? Uh, happened. What happened? Happened. All right. Happened. Next one, How guys. You happened? No. Have what happened? Como que pasó? Que sucedió? What right? happened? Mm -hmm. Applied. 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 Have you applied. in the visa? Applied. Have you applied for it yet? Ya aplicaste la visa? Ya aplicaron a la visa? Guys, have you applied for the visa before? Are not. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh, exactly. But this is the one. Have you applied? Han aplicado un empleo? Have you applied for a Ay, job? Yeah. Han aplicado una beca? Have you applied for a scholarship? 
So that's the one. Have you applied, right? And applicado. Um, yeah. Next one, that visa is visa, right? So that word doesn't change. Y la siguiente que tenemos que es bien importante es remind. So guys, repeat with me. Remind. 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 Okay, Teacher, remind. Yes. for example, and happened and remind uh, both of them a uh, final with D, not T. D. Um, oh, we're going to check that in a moment. Wait a second. So we have happen, we have remind, we have discount, okay, we have book, we have uh, one second. Yes. Discount. Just a second. Book. Book. What was the other word? Apply. Apply. Thank you so much. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. And now it's applied. So let me eliminate here the ED. Okay, guys. So these are the normal words that we have, right? So we have happen, but in happen. pasado, le vamos a agregar un sonido de D. So this is going to happen be. Happen it. Mm, pero quíteme la la E. So this is happen. 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 Only the D. Remind. Remind is like, recordame, por favor. No remember. Remind. Remind. Remind, remind me. Recuérdame. Remind right? me. Recuérdame de esto. Remind me. So, el pasado, it's reminder. Acá se le agregamos remind toda me. la palabra. Reminder. Reminder. Oye, yo te recordé que pagaras. I reminded you to pay for that. I reminded you that you had homework. So, remind. Book. Book or reserve, make a reservation is the CS method. So that's booked, right? Booked. 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 And finally, the last one that we have is apply. So the past participle or the past that will be applied. Applied. Yeah, so terminamos yeah. con una de. These are applied. todos los que terminan with ED. They are considered regular verbs. Ya vamos a revisar también la pronunciación, guys. We will check pronunciation as well. Dígame, miss. Tell me, tell me. Oh, creo que escuché que alguien me dijo teacher. No? No, teacher. Oh, I heard somebody. Okay. Hey, Mercedes. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Okay. Okay, no worries. So let's go over some of these words. I know that they are not new for you. I know that you have seen these words before, but just in case, guys, eh, vamos a revisarles rapidito. Let's go over them super quick. And I want you to please, si son nuevas, if they are totally new for you, I want you to write an example. Si ya las conocen, si no son nuevas, pues no, right? Don't write any example. Guys, le voy a dar tres minutitos. A new one was accommodation. Oh, okay. Accommodation. So. What is um, the meaning of that? Because it's using in something about travels and mm -hmm. something like that. I don't know if, if, if it's a, a word that... No sé cómo se le dice, teacher, a las palabras que son como de, una, de un rubro en específico. No uh, technical vocabulary? Maybe technical vocabulary. Um, I wouldn't say it's technical vocabulary, but it's related to hotels. Yeah, it's related to traveling in hotels. So accommodation refers to normally, uh, como a, los, a las habitaciones, right? The accommodations. Um, Acomodecho, so, I know that Alojamiento. Alojamiento, thank you so much. In Spanish, Ooh. parece como acomodación, pero no, guys. So accommodation refers to rooms, refers to uh, donde se van a quedar, right? Uh, in this case, for example, si lo hacen en un hotel, uh, so the accommodation is the hotel. Si hacen la reservación en Air, Air and B, Air and, wait, I forgot how to say the Ooh. word. Air and B. Or R and B, thank you. So the accommodation would be that word. Ya sea un and that word, it's a verb. Accommodation, no. Yes. No, that, that's not a verb. Ese no tiene pasado. Pero la palabra accommodate, este sí es un verb. So accommodate. Oh. And the other one is accommodation. It accommodate is, is the same or it's something different? The verb accommodate, mm -hmm. that's different? It's the no, same? The meaning is the same. 
Solo que la oh. usamos un poquito diferente, right? Uh, sorted. Oh, that's a very nice word, Felix. So Felix says sorted. Okay. Sorted is like uh, organized, like order, right? Okay. So, oh, very nice. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'll give you a couple of minutes. Les voy a dar un par de minutitos para que escribamos ejemplos solo con las palabras nuevas, guys. Just with the new words. Uh, si ya las conocían, okay. if you knew all of them, entonces no, you're good. Solo las palabras nuevas, guys. Only new words. I'll give you three. Yeah, three sorted, minutes. I think. You say that as mini. Which one? Sorted. You say sorted. that. Uh, sure. One second. I'm going to show you here. Oh, ahora sí puedo crear. I couldn't yesterday. Give me one second. Let me present the conversation one more time. Um, what was that? So the person says, um, Enrique, do you, re do you remember where it was? Yes, yes, we have already sorted the accommodation. Is it on top? Accommodation. I cannot see um, it. I'm blind, you know. <laughs> no, no. Um, I'm, I'm uh, almost blind here. So yes, yes. That. Yes, yes, we have already sorted the accommodation. Uh, oh my no. God. Short. Short in the commentary. Teacher is in the middle. Yes, yes. In the middle. In the in the middle. middle. In the middle. Okay. Oh, yeah. In the middle. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In the middle. Oh, my gosh. I was like, I'm almost uh, blind. <laughs> I'm almost blind. Okay. Now I need to change my glasses already. Yeah. So, yes, yes. We have already sorted the accommodation. Okay. La persona le pregunta, how about accommodation? Do you remember what happened to your uncle when he went to visit your grandmother, right? Like, ¿qué pasó con las, con las habitaciones? ¿Qué pasó con dónde te vas a quedar, right? Yes, yes, we have already sorted the accommodation. So sorted es como, ya lo tenemos listo, ya lo tenemos planeado uh, por el contexto, right? Or solventar. sorted, también es ordenado. Tell me. ¿Cómo solventar? Yeah. That would, that would also be a nice uh, way to say it. Como ya está solventado o resuelto. Mm -hmm. Yes. How will you, how you Thank will you. have a good accommodation if you even get, if you even, if you even get the reservation, how you will have it? Um, so I'm just checking it here. Belen, I'm not sure if I get it. La suya es pregunta, sorry, is that a question? How you will? Yes, maybe teacher, I forgot the, the, this, this, I, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> El signo. No, 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 that's, that, that is all right, that is all right. So just, Okay, maybe just, I don't understand the meaning. Pues, no, 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 idea, pues. I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Solamente cambiemos el orden, just change the order. How will you? And that is perfect. That sounds ah, good. How? how will you? You ah oh, okay yeah yes. it's okay. only change yep. the order and that is perfect. Your ticket okay. has been booked. Oh okay okay. I sit on the sofa. Okay. De las palabras que están acá, right? Eh, Ricardo. So from the ones you have right here. Any new word, guys? I'll give you yeah. a couple of more minutes. Dígame, teacher. Dígame. How about Accommodation. You remember I what happened at you quickly win of when beach you your grandmother. Uh, oh okay. So se si encuentra una palabra nueva. If you find a new word there, vamos a tomar esa palabra y la vamos a escribir acá con un ejemplo. Uh, so your grandmother is la abuela, right? So cualquier oración sí, la, en donde la pongamos eso en práctica, like my grandmother passed away, uh, yeah. my grandmother was a person. La idea es recordarse el vocabulario. Uh -huh. So my mother sorted the chores for the next week. Oh, that sounds really good, Andrea. 
Everything is sorted like you order me. Oh, very nice. Okay. Really good. Yes. Teacher, very I have good. a question. Yes. Yes, me. It's not about the, the word, sorry. Mm -hmm. How do you say my money in English, teacher? <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, you know, uh, también para hipotes, but I'm like super honest with you. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I just, uh, because, porque no le gusto. I don't really use it. I just know that, um, los que se parecen, you know, uh, los lichi que le llamamos, they are rambutan. Y los otros, I don't remember. Yeah, rambutan. And I don't remember if the others are mumbing. But se lo voy a revisar. I'm going to investigate that because I don't remember. Um, okay. The thing is that in English, si no lo practicamos, se nos olvida. So we totally forget it. And I don't remember. Y no uso esa palabra. <laughs> so se lo investigo and I'll tell you on Monday. I'm going to ask about it. Okay. Yes, yeah, okay. yes. We were a rally church. They accommodation. Okay. So se, se accommodation, eh, Ricardo, es una palabra nueva. If that is a new word, escribamos acá otra, uh -huh, otra oración donde accommodation lo ocupemos. Yeah. La idea es recordarse de estas mismas palabras. So that's pretty much the idea. Bermu, Bermu o Bermi. Mm, I'm not sure what's the word. Escríbala, please. Can you, can, you, uh, uh, can you type it? Voy a escribirla there. Can you type it there? Uh, no more sentences, guys. Nadie más tiene palabras nuevas. Nobody else. Teacher, can you um, uh, can you use um, the first word that dialogo? Yeah, How do you say dialogue? Sorry. How? Daya dialogue. Dialogue. Yes, dialogue. Okay. Dialogue. Mm -hmm. Oh, Melbourne. Well, Melbourne is a city, so no tiene traducción. We don't really translate that. It's like we, we say El Salvador, no lo traducimos. We cannot translate that. All right. Well, guys, I don't see new words, so I think we are totally good with the vocabulary, and I'm happy about it. Okay, yesterday, estuvimos practicando un poquito eh, present perfect to talk about experiences. Revisamos positive, negative. Um, not much negative, but we can definitely go over that today. And we checked a little bit of questions, right? So, ¿cómo preguntarle a alguien si ha hecho una actividad? For example, here, have you booked your tickets? Are you sure you have booked accommodation for both cities? Uh, have you applied for it yet? Haven't you been to Australia before? And, si se fijan, tenemos también un par de oraciones negativas, like, I haven't been back for ages. So podemos decir I haven't, o podemos decir I have never, y la idea es exactamente la misma. But if you take a look, estamos usando los pasados participios del verbo. Been, been, applied, booked, uh, sorted, booked. So siempre vamos a utilizar pasados participios. Okay, so now guys, let's go over a little bit of pronunciation. And then um, you help me with some verbs. Vamos a revisar un poquito de regular verbs para que también tengamos una idea de how we normally pronounce those. So Teacher. Yes, yes, miss. A question. Um, mm -hmm. In this case, in, um, you will you use it, uh, the participle verbs because it's something that you already have to do? Mm, no. no we you are... already have to do Um, yeah, the thing is that in general, y para no hacerle la vida too complicated, usamos el participio porque hablamos de experiencias, because we're talking about experiences. So here, no me importa o no es importante 
cuándo usted lo hizo, sino qué pasó, right? ¿Cuál es su experiencia de vida? Si lo ha hecho o no ha hecho algo. So that is why we use uh, have, siempre por eso utilizamos have or has, y luego el past participle de estos verbos, de cualquier verbo, regular o irregular, porque yo quiero contar que he hecho algo. Pero en realidad no tengo que decir cuándo lo hice. I, I don't care. That's not no important. Importa, incluso si no lo he hecho. El punto es si es una experiencia. O no es una experiencia. O le falta hacerlo. Ya vamos a revisar eso también. We're going to okay. check that. Uh, we're going to check that in a moment. So, let's go over this part. Regular una verbs, guys. Teacher. Dígame. A una aventura. Yeah, it doesn't matter. El detalle acá es contar las experiencias. Una experiencia, guys, puede ser, por ejemplo, si me he caído, you know, that's experience. Uh, si he tenido un accidente, si he visto un accidente. So pretty I much am, all of them. I ¿Ya am, no? am, uh -huh. eh, me caí de una escalera. Ay, pero en inglés, Ricardo. So you gotta tell us in yeah, English. Yeah. You gotta tell us in English. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Vaya, búscala, búscala en el traductor. Look for the translator, escúchala, ya, yeah, y luego nos ayuda because vamos a compartir experiencias, but we want to listen to your English. Too. So, guys, necesito su ayuda con regular verbs. ¿Cuáles son regular verbs? For example, close, open, give me more, give me more, please. Play. Play. Okay, play. Yep. Run. Well, um, run. Run. Run is reg oh. irregular. Run, run, run. Uh -huh. so, no. Another? Mm. Oh Allowed. my God. <laughs> what is it? Allowed. Allowed. Allow. Oh, yes. Allow. Yes. Allow. Feel. Oh, no. Feel is felt. Sorry. Yeah. Feel felt. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Right. No, right, wrote, written. No, another. <laughs> give, me, give me just activities. Give me activities and I'll tell you. It's regular or irregular. No, dance. Sleep. Jump. Sleep. No, jump. Yes. Tell me. That tell. Tell. Mm, no, tell, tell, tell. Dance. Dance. Yes. Give me more, guys. Give me more. Arrive, travel. Yes, arrive. Arrive, travel. Challenge. Yes. Call. Challenge. Como de retar. Yes. Call. Challenge. Call. Yeah. Arrive. Yes, arrive is here, but yeah, you're right. Okay. Project. Back. Oh, I'm sorry, Rafael. What was that? Back. 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 Can you spell that for me? B. Mm -hmm. A B. Oh, pero ese no es un verbo. That is not a verb. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Walk. Yes, walk. Very good. Rabbit. Rabbit is not a verb. Give me more, guys. ¿Cuáles son los verbos Dream. que hacemos? Dream. Pero puede ser irregular. Another one. Fly. Fly. Fly, flu, flu. So no. Fly yet. Hay muchos guys. There are a lot. Okay. For example, reír. How do you say reír, guys? Laugh. Laugh. There you go. Okay. How do you say We try to concentrate about the meaning of the regular birds that oh, are really don't worry. regular birds. Yeah, so, uh, oh, uh, oh, smoke. smoke. Every day. Smoke. 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 Andrea? Learn. What? Learn, yes. Learn. Well, learn puede ser regular y regular. Cut, de cortar, no. Cut, cut, cut es el mismo sonido. Dine. Cook. Dine. Cook, yes. Have got. Ask. Ask. Uh, yes, uh, I have it here. Start. Study, yes, I have it here. Also. Also. No, but that's not a verb. Actividades. Eh, Actividades. Enjoy. 
Enjoy. Okay. The TV, guys. What about the TV? It start. Yes. So start. Okay. White. White. De esperar. Yeah. Esperar. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Creo que ya lo había escrito. ¿no? Yes, teacher. You already write it. I thought I oh. had read. Oh, yeah. It's, yes. it's, it's up. Okay. Paint. Near. So there Paint. are like a lot of words. There are a lot. Okay. Paint. Guys, yeah, that's that's regular, I would say. Visit, exactly. Guys, ¿cómo es que se hace regular o irregular? Pues no hay otra forma. <laughs> you have to memorize them. Deben de memorizárseles. Que esa es la forma más fácil, right? ¿Qué significa que son regulares? That means que a todos les voy a poner ED para hacer los pasados o para hacer los pasados participio. So, esta es la parte más fácil. This is the easiest part. Because I have closed, oh, closed, open, ED, play, ED, allow ED, ED, ED. Esa ya tiene ED. D, E, D, D, E, D. Si se fijan, super fácil. Spelling is a piece of cake. We don't complicate much. ¿Qué es lo que va a ser difícil? Probably pronunciation, but I hope it is not. So walk, uh, again, vamos, E, D, E, D, E, D. A text, e, a sketch, a violet. Ya, ya vamos a revisar, de hecho, pronunciation, porque eh, cambia un poquito sometimes, it changes a little bit. Now, si se fijan here, tengo D y tengo T. That means no a todos lo leemos ed, no leemos walker, o no leemos cooker. So, ¿cuál es la forma más fácil de memorizarlos? Easy. Tocamos nuestra garganta. So, you're going to touch your throat. Y van a sentir si hay un poquito de vibración o no, ¿ok? Guys, eh, ¿ya vieron un poquito de pronunciación? No, really, teacher. Eh, eh, ¿Se puede en esa técnica? Eh, ¿Se puede en la técnica? Yes, teacher. Ok, amazing. So that is going to be a piece of cake. Uh, so, uh, for example, uh, guys, uh, eh, tóquense, uh, eh, toquen la garganta, pongan su, toquen su mano en la garganta y repitan conmigo ey 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 ay ay oh 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 ay ay oh 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 Vibra al final. Happen. Por happen. eso es que yo le agrego D al verbo. Happen. So happened. Happened. Happen. Okay. Happen. Remind. Happen. Well, este va a cambiar. Ya les explico por qué. Remind. Apply. Apply. So again, apply. Ya. Yeah. Hay como una pequeña D. So apply. apply. Pero book. Apply. ¿Qué pasó con book, guys? Book. book. Acá no book. vibra. Book. Como no vibra, le voy a agregar una T. So, booked. And that's it. Booked. So, again, vibración, los verbos que vibran, le agrego D. Los Happen. verbos que no vibran, le agrego T. So, sort. Y los verbos que terminan en D o en T, le voy a agregar toda la palabra que es E, D. So, sorted. Reminded, sorted. sorted. I have sorted, I have reminded you. So that is the one. Okay. Close. Close. Okay. That would be a D. Open. 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 Exactly. Play. 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 Col. Cold. 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 Exactly. Cold. There yeah. you go. There you go. Cold. And then we have the rest of them. Guys, I'm going the to give pen. you. Les voy a dar un par de minutos. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Para que primero les pronuncien. You practice them. Se los voy a pronunciar. Y luego ustedes me dicen cuál sería el pasado. Si con D. Eh, con un sonido de T. 
Ok, o con un sonido de R. Se aplica para todos los que terminan en T o en D al final, right? So, this is jump, dance, arrive, travel, challenge, call, walk, laugh, ask, smoke, study, wait, work, learn, cook, enjoy, start, paint, need. Guys, les voy a dar dos minutitos. I'll give you two minutes. Eh, voy a cerrarles el micrófono. I'm going to close your microphones para que lo puedan repetir en voz alta. Eh, right there in your houses. Y podamos determinar cuál es el sonido final. What is the last sound? Hagámoslo solitos. Do it alone. Y luego lo repetimos y lo, um, we check it together. Okay? Dos, two minutes, guys. Apple. Teacher, le escribieron en el chat. Sí. En el de WhatsApp. Ya, yeah. yeah, imagine, porque acá no lo encontraba. Thank you so much. I'm checking now. <laughs> I'll give you one more minute.
Guys, are you ready? Do you need more time? Bye. I'm ready. Let's okay. do this. Okay. Does, does anybody need more time? So tell me, are we good? Iris, are we good, guys? Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Oh, I guess you're done. Okay, guys, so let's do it together. So, one second. Oh, this is weird. Hold on. What weird. Let me a second, guys, that my computer got crazy. Okay. What's going on? This is strange. Okay. It's convenient, teacher. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's my mouse, but yeah, it's not working. This is super weird. Okay. Okay, guys, either way. So repeat with me, please. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to close your microphones. Just please make sure that in your houses, uh, you pronounce the words with me. And if you have questions, let me know, please. So this is happened, reminded, booked, applied, sorted, closed. Closed, so. Give me one second. Yeah, I think it's my mouse. No working. Okay. Opened. Oh, played. Allowed. Called. Jumped. Danced. Arrived. Traveled. Challenged. Called. Uh, walked. Laughed. Asked. Smoked. Studied. Waited or waited, worked, learned, cooked, enjoyed, started, painted, needed. And those are the ones. So para pasado y para, para pasado participio, that is exactly the same. But I want us guys, do you have an equation with these words, with these verbs? Miss, the pronunciation of need, needed, no es needed. Um, actually, es, um, how can I explain this? Eh, este sonido es una E de, right? But algunas personas lo pronuncian como needed, una E super clara. Y otras personas la pronuncian como needed, como una E, pero una E corta. Yeah, needed, como super corta. Entonces, en realidad, uh, ambas están bien. So it, it just depends on, on the pronunciation or en la velocidad con la que diga. So I can say, for example, oh, I have needed a, a lot of help. Y de hecho no se identifica si fue needed or needed. Um, so es bastante común que esta palabra de se cambie por una R, right? Al igual que acá, wait. No es muy común decir waited. I waited for you. Eso pasa solo en inglés británico. Es, es bien común que la T la cambiemos por una R. Waited. I waited. I waited 10 minutes. I have waited too much time. So waited. La cambiamos a una uh, R, right? Like beautiful and beautiful. Uh, well, yeah, but eso tiene que ver un poco con acento, I would say. So beautiful is more American. Beautiful is British or water is American. And water or water, that's British. So eso tiene que ver mucho con el acento too. Uh, so yeah, I love British accent, pero difícil, guys. <laughs> um, es, es cuestión de acostumbrarse, right? We gotta get used to it. Okay, all right guys, so let's go on a little bit. Y lo que vamos a hacer right now is the following. 
En el previo exercise les mostré una conversación. Ahora, guys, ustedes van a crear su propia conversación. You're going to make your own conversation using, no necesariamente de esto, it's not necessary uh, that you talk about going to Australia, pero solo es como pueden empezar a preguntarle al compañero de experiencias. Um, so, Mauricio, have you been to los, El Pital? No sé si la foto de atrás es del Pital. So, have you been to El Pital? Oh, tell me about it. What happened? Um, have you visited a couple of places? Y vamos a utilizar everything related to this. Eh, algo Teacher. muy importante es que los detalles los damos en pasado. Yes, Belén. Uh, how do you say... Eh, más, o menos, más que todo por la palabra, se me vino a la mente. Uh -huh. eh, por needing. Y necesidad en inglés, how do you say? Ines, ines, necesidad. Wait, wait. No, <risa> necesidad. No, no, no el verbo, sino la palabra necesidad. Need. Need. Yeah. Yes, need. Es, es, es el same. verbo como tal. O yeah. sea, el verbo es necesitar. Pero verbo es decir tengo una necesidad, por ejemplo. Yeah, that would be, I am in need. It's the same. Yeah, it's ah, exactly okay. the same. Como amar, amar y el amor. Love is amor, but love también es amar, right? La so, palabra. Love. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, algunas palabras, eh, todo depende de cómo usted las use, el significado cambia. So, estoy en necesidad de algo, that would be, I am in need. So, I am in need of money. I am in like, need of... Like need To sleep. Need for speed. Oh, need for the speed, the exactly. Game. Like need for the speed, yes. So, eh, no es necesidad de, well, yeah, es necesidad, but, <laughs> pero en el sentido de una necesidad, yes. Ok, guys, so vamos a crear una conversación y le voy a dejar el tema súper abierto, solamente que utilicemos past, eh, past participle form of verbs para que hablemos de experiencias. Vamos a hacer grupos pequeñitos, we're going to make some verbs. Si les pueden escribir las preguntas, no hay ningún problema. But, guys, somos intermedio. Si es posible no escribirlas y empezar a tener una conversación, aunque no sea rápido, but tómese su tiempo, try to do it. O si le quiere escribir y luego la practica, la practica de tal manera que al presentarla ya no la lea, good. Because that is the objective, hacerlo natural. Because uh, cuando alguien me pregunte, look, um, have you been to USA? No le voy a decir, espere, me voy a buscar mi cuaderno, right? Uh, wait, you wait, gotta, wait, you wait. Got, yeah, ajá, like, right, el traductor, right. ajá, no, y gotta be like, oh, yes, of course, yes, I have, no, no, I haven't, but I would like to go to USA, right? And then just start talking about it. So, pueden escribirla, it's okay, no problems, pueden tomar nota, it's good, pueden usar el traductor, pero no para escribir todo el diálogo, guys. <ríe> Solo para una palabra o las palabras que desconozcan, right? But al momento de... Oh, ay, perdón, 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 no entren, please. Don't go there. Pero al momento de presentar, guys, please, no la lean. Don't read it. So, intenten hacerlo lo más natural que puedan. Eh, Deme un segundo. The last question, sorry. No, go, 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 no problem. Um, how, how, when... You say not yet, for example, it's because uh, no lo he hecho aún. I understand that. But mm. if I only said no, it's because I don't want it. I, I don't want to do it. Mm. Do you you know, some context? Uh, por ejemplo, en, en el ejemplo del diálogo de Australia, mm. decía eh, no yet. Mm -hmm. Sí, no aún. Porque mm -hmm. lo va a hacer. Pero si yo no agrego el yet, es porque definitivamente no lo haré. No estoy pensando en hacerlo. Mm -hmm. Ese es mi contexto. ¿Hay alguna diferencia? ¿O siempre es como, como un tema de decirlo, no yet? Mm, no. Lo que sucede es que el yet me da la idea que en algún momento lo va a hacer. Uh, si usted responde de manera cortante, no, yo solamente lo tomaría como que su respuesta es demasiado brusca. You know? No está cambiando. Simplemente yo le diría, ay, qué brusca. You know, o, o qué cortante es o no. Exactly, exactly. Eso es más como una cuestión de. Uh, si, yeah. Did you sound polite? Did you sound not polite? Pero no, usted puede decir, Have you booked the ticket? Oh, no. Pero se oyó así, you know. No me siga preguntando que ya terminé. <laughs> uh, but then if you say, Ah, oh, no, no yet. 
y me da más información, I can continue the conversation y no me siento ofended o no me siento así como que ya no me pregunte. You know? So, it's, es más en el sentido de cómo suena. Uh -huh. Pero no, no like es significado, okay. I wouldn't say that. Uh -huh. okay. okay, guys. So, uh, open topic. All right. We have uh, 15 minutes to prepare this short conversation. Es corta. It's a short conversation. So, lo que utilicemos, presente perfecto, have. Remember, en una pregunta puedo responder no solamente con yes, but I can say, of course. I can say, yes. I can say, no yet. I can have different answers, and that is okay. Uh, or have you been to Australia before? Uh, I can ask more information, right? I can ask for more details. Guys, vámonos. Let's go to the rooms, please. Uh, prepare your conversation and then we come back. So please practice English as much as possible. Si no lograron entrar en, en el momento, no se preocupen. Si están en el teléfono, siempre les va a aparecer un cuadrito acá en la parte de arriba. Le dan entrar y eso es todo. If you are in the computer, en la computadora se van al menú. Les aparece sala de grupos pequeños, le dan también like a click y eso es todo. Los tendría que llevar there. Hi, Judy. Good evening. So let's go, Gaby. Let's go, Helen. Let's go, Mercedes. Uh, Arnoldo, let's go there. Buenas noches. Hola Rubén. Hola. Eh, vamos a formar la conversación, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, utilizar el presente. Se tiene la imagen. Pasado participio. Uh, no hay que vamos o la a... vamos a formar así como sí ocurra <ríe> sí bye Pero, ¿cómo la podemos formar? Eso sobre experiencia, por, por, por ejemplo, Will decir, have you ever seen a shower of stars? Si ¿Sí? alguna vez ha visto una lluvia de estrellas o algo así. Nunca he visto una lluvia de estrellas. <risa> <risa> Una experiencia que usted haya tenido entonces porque ahorita no se me ocurre ni una. Ok. You can ask general questions like, uh, hey Ruben, have you seen the, the last movie for Batman? Or, hey Margarita, have you seen the soap opera? Eh, I don't know, el cartel de los sapos. <laughs> so you can ask no. anything. <laughs> la pregunta es bien general, right? And then ustedes la pueden llevar. No, I don't really like it. Um, but I have seen other movies. Um, or I have never seen those movies because I don't like them. So, y comenzamos a hablar de nuestras experiencias en ese sentido. Or, hey Ruben, have you been to other countries? Um, have you ever had an accident? So, algo bien pequeño lo podemos extender, right? They talk, guys. Talk, speak. 
Oh, uh, y... Pueden compartir la pantalla. Si les funciona share your screen o escribirlo, do it, no problem. And, uh, o si no, solo lo hacemos oralmente, right? So whatever oh. works for you. Ok, gracias. You are welcome. Guys, quiero que hablen más, Rubén, casi no le he escuchado. <laughs> I haven't heard you. <laughs> Qué barbaridad con ese Rubén. Qué barbaridad con él. Ya, yeah, I'm going to push you, Rubén, Rubén. Yeah. No, ahí yes, sí escuché a Margarita. I heard Margarita yesterday. Ya, <laughs> yeah, guys, but necesito escucharles a little more. So let's do it. Ok. Llévate el hito. Ajá. Podría ser, podría decirle, how you, how you study irregular verbs? Regular verbs. Uh -huh. oh. That works, but hi, that works, but That's I would true. say el tema puede ser diferente, not necessarily related to classes. Uh, remember that experience okay. is the todo tipo experiencia. Like, I don't know, have you uh, Has estado mucho tiempo en tu empresa. Have you worked mm -hmm. for a lot of time in your company? Um, have you, oh, alguna vez has, I don't know, comprado bitcoins? Have you ever bought some bitcoins? Um, hey, Andrea, look, have you ever seen this new movie from Marvel? Y le puede preguntar de cosas, you know, no relacionadas con, con la clase. So it, it can be okay. just super general. Because the idea is to use a present perfect, pero experiencia, right? So, ¿cuáles son sus experiencias, guys? Or, I don't know. Hey, Rafael, have you ever no, jumped from a bridge? And then you can say, I know, I'm not crazy, you know? I don't want to die. Y, y podemos comenzar a hablar de algo bien simple. So, that's totally fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank Vaya, entonces dejémoslo hasta ahí donde lo teníamos ajá, y chaval. ajá que sea una sí, parte chaval. y solo preguntamos. Which house did Paisu party from? Maurice. No. I don't understand you. Can you repeat? No, no, no entendí. Puede, puede repetir. Which house did Paisu party from? From, from. Do, do you say the, the, the exercise? Yes. Pass, pass, participle form. You say that? Yeah, I think he's talking about birds. He's talking about the past participle form. Um, hi, guys. Well, actually, eh, la conversación que vamos a hacer no es relacionada con la clase, right? It's not related to classes, sino es relacionada uh, yes. con experiencias, like experiences. Si vamos a utilizar present perfect, si vamos a utilizar past participle form, pero ya utilizándolas en real life. Um, como la conversación que estaba, have you ever been to Australia? Have you uh, booked your tickets, right? Podemos hablar de viajes, podemos hablar de experiences. Have you been at the hospital? Accidents, have you had an accident? So anything, si les funciona, guys, eh, pueden compartir su pantalla. You can share your screen. Creo que ahora sí ya pueden. I believe, and eh, no sé por qué no podían. Uh, so you can share your screen y pueden ver la conversación, you know? So everybody helps into the conversation. 
para Thank que tengan you, un teacher. poco de visibilidad. Ok, teacher. Vamos a tratar de ponernos de acuerdo, teacher. Ya, ahorita ya nos dio un poco más de luz. Ok, so no worries. Let me know if you have some questions, guys. Ok, Judy has issues okay, with the internet. Okay. Judy say that I have problems. ¿Cómo? Podría ser este... Aquí, ajá, como que le pusiera que... Was greatly appreciated from the top. Ah, si no, la parte de arriba. Los de Mercedes. No sé si puede repetir. Es que no sé si es mi inter. Es que como que se corta un poquito. Tal vez algo sobre la vista. Pero eso... Hola, no sé. Este, sí, está bien. <risa> este, no sé, para terminar la otra si sí, se puede poner... No sé, como describiéndole que, que es algo relajante, como es a relaxing activity for me. Um, tal vez como que no sabe si tendría la condición física para para subir el Ilamatepec. Sí, algo así. Hola. Hola, hoy sí me escuchan. Sí, ahorita sí, sí. sí. Es que yo les escucho cortado por ratitos, pero quizás es mi internet. Sí, puede ser, porque yo ayer así estuve, por eso casi no pude participar. Condition to find no sé qué les parece así sí sí pero ya ahí no, no sé si ella como ella es la que ha ido ayer al volcán, entonces no sé <ríe> qué va a responder. Si, Aquí, ajá, yo le puse. Sería como que quizás un, fue una caminata de unas dos horas o no sé. Ajá, que ahí nos diga Mercedes cómo fue la. Ah, este. Aproximado de cuatro horas, tres, cuatro horas. What, what parts of Guatemala have you been to before? Okay. Uh, the last time I visited Guatemala, I, I went to Esquipulas.
The last, my hijo. The last time I visited Guatemala. The last time to visit. Ajá, la última vez que, que visité. The last time uh -huh. I visited Guatemala. Uh -huh. I went to Esquipulas. Repeat the question again, please tell me. What what parts of Guare, what what parts of Guatemala have you been to before? ¿Cuántas preguntas llevamos? One, two, Ahorita tres. Three, ¿verdad? Es, esta, mm, how many days were you there? Fue la primera, no. No, no, yo ahorita le digo, how many days were you there? ¿Cuántos días estuvo allí? The last time. Uh, two days. The last time, two days. Only weekend. Ya se va. Oh. The last side two days, only weekend. Ah, solo el fin de semana. Yes. Yeah. Sería Nicole has 16 years. 15. ¿Tiene 16 15. o tiene 15? 15. Ah, entonces 15. 15. Se, 15. Se, los números antes del 20... Uh, si se, esa es, se pronuncia siempre con el teen, 16, 15, 14. Okay. Like the, yo lo, lo asocio como for a teenager, como son adolescentes, el teen es como de teenager. Al menos así lo asocio yo. Okay. That's 15 year old. years old. And Brian, how old is he? How old is he? Uh, Brian has 11 year old. That's good. And you get a party for Nicole? No. You did a party for Nicole? Perdón, perdón. Yeah. Ahí te pregunto que si le hiciste una fiesta. If you sí. did a party for party. Nicole? Yes, party. And you don't invite me. That's not fair. Y ahí, ¿qué seguimos? Ahí te estoy diciendo yo, y tú no me invitaste. Qué ah, injusto. Perdón. Excuse me. Eh. <laughs> That's all. Just an excuse. And you forget. <laughs> I did not see you. I, I, I don't. Okay, ahí podría decir este. Um, um, no, no tan realmente, no me acordaba de ti, ¿verdad? I don't remember about you. Maybe you can say... Um, oh, no nada de ti, no. I, I no. love your number. You can say that. I love your number. I love It's a good excuse. <laughs> number. <laughs> okay. I love your number. Really? So I got... Uh, I will have, uh, give you my number, my new number. But if I think about it, I don't change my number. Maybe you delete something, you change your phone or something like that. 
ahí te pregunto, te estoy diciendo que yo no he cambiado mi número, ahora que lo recuerdo. Cambiaste tu teléfono, te digo, borraste algo. Te estoy, estoy siendo la tóxica en este momento, la mía tóxica. Ay, no. super cool. I have a lot of toxic friends. Ay, no. I do. Eh, yo sí. You, you change your cell phone? I did. Ah, no, sería I do change it. I did. I did. I did no, no, ahí te estoy preguntando si tú cambiaste de teléfono. You change your phone, your cell phone? Your okay. phone, sorry, your phone, el aparato como tal. Entonces ahí me puedes decir, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Ah, yes, I did. Y me voy a poner más tóxica si me decís, no, I didn't. O sea, así que me voy a decir, yes, I did. No, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Correct. Okay. Okay. I give you my number. Uh, you, you, um, I, como sería? Take a note. You, you can take a note and I repeat my number. Seven, five, um, uh, zero, eight, one, two, three. Um, we have to see it more often. Um, how do you, how, can I, I podemos decir, We can see you the next week. Um, how was your work for the next week? You have time? You can have some time for see, for see me? Ahí te pregunto que si podemos podernos, deberíamos de vernos más seguido. Eh, ¿Podrías hacer tiempo? ¿Cómo estás en el trabajo la próxima semana? Para vernos la próxima semana. Ok. Sería, give me a call. No. Ok. Okay. I, keep, I, keep, I will keep in mind que lo va a tener en consideración, digo yo. Harling, I will keep in It in mean. Lo tomaré en cuenta. Uh -huh. Estará bien así o solo. Yo, no, ok, ok. I'll keep that in mind. Pero me gustaría visitar tal lugar después. But, but I like visit uh, the Mexico City.
Hi guys. Uh, are you ready? So do you need, so, so do you need more time <laughs> or are you okay? Are you ready to present? Okay. So. Or do you need more time? Three minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. No worries. I'll give you a couple of more minutes so you can finish. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay, Margarita. Yeah. Hi, Margarita. Have you ever been in Mexico? Um, hi, Ruben. I have never been there, but I will I won't like to travel around the country. Great, I recommend you besides Xochimilco. That place is wonderful. Okay, Ruben, I will, I into a con, I would will visit Mexico City. Okay, very nice. This, 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 um, this place is wonderful. Um, Hasta ahí vamos. <laughs> no, but it's okay. Pero pueden improvisar un poquito más, right? You can okay. include more information, aunque no lo tengan escrito. That sounds okay. 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 Okay, gracias. Eh, ¿Cómo podemos? When are you playing? I go, I start, I can, I go. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for coming back. Um, that was actually very interesting. I heard that a couple of you uh, were practicing, uh, you know, just in escribirlo, so you were trying to make it a little bit more natural. So very good job on that. And si aún necesitamos escribirlo, igual, guys, um, that is really, really good. So I would like to have a couple of volunteers. So uh, let me. Uh, go over here. The, um, let me see. So, um, Ricardo, give me one number, please, from one to six. Let me number el uno al seis. Give me a number from one to six. One. Okay. So good. So number one, that is going to be um, Margarita and Rubens group. Thank you. 
So guys, let us listen to your conversations. So Margarita, Ruben, I know that um, quizás la conversación no la pudimos terminar, but lo que tengamos, that is okay. The idea is just to listen. To okay, you. teacher. Hi, my, hi, Margarita. Have you ever been to Mexico? Hi, Ruben. I have never been to the boot and walking, but like to travel around the country. Great. I recommend you beside Xochimilco. The place is wonderful. Um, Great, recommend you visit Xochimil. Eso es lo que usted me acaba de preguntar, ¿verdad? Yes. Visit Xochimil. The place is wonderful. Op okay, this place is very nice. Okay. I was there. Uh -huh. I was there five years ago. I I really like their culture. Thank you, Ruben, for the recommendation. All right. Hasta, hasta ahí that's it, right? <laughs> okay, that's it, right? Okay, no problem. That is that is totally fine. Okay. And uh, give me one second. Margarita, Five. give me one number, Five. please. From one to uh, uh, six. Well, from two to six. Um, uh, three. Three. So that is a Maurice. Maurice, I can't read your message. I just read your message, but I don't know if you are ready, Maurice. Uh, yes. Ricardo. Yes. I think Judy was yes. having problems with the internet, I believe. And no sé si pudieron eh, participar con Arnoldo. Were you able to practice with him? No, ni ni Judy. Judy is no todo okay. problemita. Okay. Okay. So guys. <laughs> Okay, lo que tengamos, that is totally fine. Whatever you, you can make, that, that is okay. Okay, let's do it. Hi, Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. Long time to not see you. How Hi, are you Mauricio. doing? I, I'm fine. You? Very good. I'm working. Why is the cemetery? It's a exuma. Espérame, espérame, espérame. It's okay. Espérame, espérame. Salió. Vaya, hoy sí. Empezamos de nuevo, si gusta, Ricardo. Si querés pasarme el mensaje, porque se me ha extraviado aquí. Es que quedó, en el, quedó ahí. Ah, oh, ya lo, ya, si lo dijeron, ya se perdió, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so if it is in the in the other room, uh, that's lost. Uh, well. Bueno. I work in, I go to the cemetery. I assume it's in the terrain. And in... I knew. Bueno. Oh, guys, th that is okay. Look, um, I think that if you feel more comfortable of 
So, revisen sus notas, take a look at your notes, probably uh, revisen qué es lo que habían respondido, right? What you answered before. Y lo practicamos luego, no problem. That is totally fine. So, you can feel more, more confident no on that. All right. So, we can do that later. No worries. Okay. okay. Let, me, okay. let me go okay. ahead with one more. Morris, give me a number, please, from uh, two um, to six. The last going to be the first. Holy Bill says that. Uh, so what is the number? number? Oh, number six. Okay. Number six. So tell me an iris. Okay, girls. So whenever we are ready, we are ready to hear, uh, to listen to you. Hi, Iris. Hi, pardon. Hi, Iris. Which country would you like to visit this year? And probably next month I will go to Guatemala. Oh, fantastic. How how would you book a hotel stay? No yet, but I hope to look for an Airbnb next week. Oh. What place of Guatemala have you been to before? The last time I visited Guatemala, I went to Esquipulas. How many days were you there? The last time today. I only went for the weekend. Finish, mm -hmm. teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, that was like very nice, girls. So that was very fluent. Thank you so much for that. All right. Okay. Teacher, you want to? Uh, okay, sure. Who was in your group? Um, Helen. Only Helen, right? Okay, okay, yes. perfect. We're ready for Helen, you. Helen, you can start. You have to start. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah. Do I know you, Belen? Yes, I'm Belen. How are you today, Helen? Very good. Um, oh my God, I didn't know recognize, recognize you. Uh -huh. Amazing. Well, I'm the same. What's the matter? Oh, glad. Uh, hello, we don't see each other. Well, maybe since three years ago. Yeah, maybe I'll change a little bit. Yes, I see difference. Different? What are you talking about? It's about my hair. I think my child is the same. Uh, or what are, you, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes, uh, I see something different in you. In me? Oh my God. I don't understand what you are you talking about. <laughs> you piercing. Oh, my piercing. Oh, I have a lot of them. You don't have to worry about it. I know. <laughs> uh, hello, I go D. You boring them. Uh, well, um, this is the last one, and I put in. Uh, I put it uh, two weeks ago. But tell me, how was your kids? I there aren't kids anymore. Oh my God! Really? How old is Nicole now? And Brian? Uh, Nicole has sixteen uh, year old, and Brian has eleven year old. Really? And you uh, get the party to Nicole? You can yes. celebrate? <laughs> yes, party and celebrate. And you don't invite me. Oh my God, that's so unfair. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only sorry and you and it's all forget about it, right? <laughs> I love your number. number. Oh, interesting. But, but, but I will give you my new number. Wait. If I remember, I don't change my number. Maybe you change your phone? You change your phone? Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, I did it. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um, we have to see, we have to hang out often. Uh, how you do your uh, work for the, for the next week? You can have some time for uh, see each other again? Uh, let me check my schedule. Uh, heal me, call me, please. Mm, I will wait for your call. But if you don't call me, you have to know that I know where you live. And that's all. <laughs> <it. laughs> 
Okay. Wow, that was really cool. I heard that <laughs> Helen was enjoying the conversation, you know. <laughs> she was she was laughing all the way through. That was actually very nice. Uh, very good answers, Helen. That's pretty cool. And uh, and Belinda was so right. Care. Actually, that sounded very natural. So thanks a lot for that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so Helen is still like <laughs> laughing at that. All right. Okay, guys, uh, look, I have just a couple of exercises. I think we are going to be finishing today with this one. And the, this is related to present perfect steel. So just to, re to remind you a little bit of the structure, que necesito, guys, para present perfect. So I need have, right? <laughs> no. I need have, I need has, como el auxiliar, y luego past, participle form of the verb. Acá les comparto los verbos al final. That is to send, to be, to have, to clean, to paint, etc. So vamos a utilizar el pasado participio. In case you don't remember, pueden revisar su lista de verbos. Pueden revisar um, the verb in the dictionary. That is okay. And you'll get the past participle form. So I'm going to give you some minutes, guys, para que lo hagamos individualmente. So or in case lo quieran compartir en el chat, no lo escriban todo, solo pueden escribir la respuesta, that is okay. And uh, lo revisamos ahorita. So we got like around five minutes, guys. If you have questions, if you have doubts, let me know y lo revisamos juntos. So uh, vamos a hacerlo ahorita individualmente. We're going to do it individually. Let me know if you have questions, guys. I no have question. a question, teacher, but I don't know if the question could be the answer to. <laughs> okay, so uh, we better so finish them and later we yeah. check. Okay. <laughs>
Dr. Go, Sai Chak Chak Chu. We almost finished, guys. No worries. <laughs> and you'll be resting tomorrow. So, uh, are you ready, guys? Do you need more time? For me, I'm ready, teacher. Okay. What about the rest? Tell me, are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Guys, thank you for the confirmation. Okay, very good. Tell me, let's get started with you. Number one, please. Karen has sent me an email. Okay, so Karen has uh, sent me an email. Yes, very nice. Helen, number two. To visit. Dave and Pat have visited, right? Okay, perfect. Yes, Dave and Pat have visited the museum. Exactly. Number three. So, Menedemo, number three, please. I. Uh, hi to be a type shop. Okay, I have super close. Solo quíteme el to. I have, y el pasado participio de be, guys, alguien que me ayude, was, where, y el pasado mm. participio es been. I have yeah. been, exactly. I have been at the pet shop. La estructura es super bien, solo le cambiamos a be. Number four, be. I have been. Mm -hmm. Yo he estado, I have been. Uh, Helen, please, number four, they. They, they do. Mm, solo que sin el tú. Eh, Belén. Yes, teacher. They have packed already their backpacks. Okay, very nice. They have already packed their backpacks. Very good. Um, Mauricio, please. Next one, number five. Marcus has had an accident. Marcus has had an accident. Yes, that's right. And Felix, please, next one, number six. We have done the shopping for our grandmother. Very nice. Number seven, Margarita, please. Margarita is in silence. <laughs> You're mute. Number seven, I please. Uh, it says I. Hi, clean. Who's my bike? Uh, Margarita? Margarita? No. There you go. Okay, number seven. Tiene la número siete. Do you have number seven? Um, I have used, used my big to clean. Uh, ok, solo que vamos a cambiar un poquito el orden. Si se fijan en la parte de arriba tenemos have y luego el pasado participio. So el pasado participio de clean es cleaned. No utilizamos tú. So that would be I. Yo he limpiado. I. Uh, está en silencio. You're mute. Hi, clean. Mm. You my big. Yeah, wait. Let's just wait for Margarita. So, uh, Margarita, I. I. Perdón, perdón, perdón. No worries. Go. I have used my by clean. Ok, ok. So, lo que el clean, vamos a cambiarlo de posición. Lo vamos a poner aquí. I have clean. Y de hecho, yo cometí un error con el just. El just normalmente va en medio. Like, I have just cleaned. But that is ok. I have, I have cleaned. Podemos dejar that way for the moment. I have cleaned. Thank you. Rafael, please. Number eight, Emily. Emily has painted her room. Oh, very good. Emily has painted the room. Yes, that sounds good. 
Let me go with the, um, let me see, Imelda, please, number nine, Lisa and Colin. Lisa and Colin have gone to a concert. Very good. And number 10, my friends. Andrea, what do you have? My friends. My friends have given up smoking. Perfect. There you go. So given up, right? Como ya dejaron de fumar. My friends have given up smoking. Good okay, decision. Guys. But no, why? <laughs> That's like the best decision we can ever make. Okay, guys. Uh, so thank you so much for your participation. It is about time. So le voy a tomar asistencia. Thank you, Delmi. I have just uh, seen your answers uh, right there. Um, so guys, solo si me ayudan un momentito con su cámara, please help me out with your cameras for a moment. Eh, solo para tomarles el control. Just to take your attendance eh, control. Eh, guys, para quienes se unieron tarde a la sesión, solamente recordándoles que el día de mañana no tenemos clases, we're not having classes, nos vamos a ver de regreso hasta el día lunes. We're coming back until Monday, right? So, yeah, así que no worries, guys, solo me ayudan eh, con la plataforma, please, intenten avanzar cuanto les sea posible para um, Ya tenerla completada si podemos. And then solo vamos con la práctica extra. Um, en la plataforma tenemos un par de ejercicios eh, con respecto a, um, se le llama reducción de adverbios. Lo vamos a revisar el día lunes. We're going to be checking that on Monday. But guys, si podemos adelantar también, revisamos el manual, revisamos el vocabulario. There is a lot of vocabulary. And uh, eh, para que el lunes podamos practicar a little bit more. Denme un segundito here. Eh, les comentaba que les iba a postear un ejercicio para el día de mañana, pero ya que no tenemos clases mañana, lo voy a estar posteando para que lo completemos hasta la próxima semana. So, espero que les sea súper útil para pronunciation. Y lo estuvimos trabajando, de hecho, con... Eh, Belén, creo que también con Andrea. Andrea, me falta su audio todavía. <laughs> I'm still missing your audio. And uh, y lo vamos a trabajar later with the rest of you. So guys, solo me regalan confirmación, please. Eh, Ana Mercedes. Ana Mercedes estaba acá. Present. Gracias, Miss. Uh, Andrea. Here. Thank you so much. So I got Mercedes. Eh, Belén. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Carlos. Carlos está por acá hace unos minutos. Uh, Delmi. Present. Thank you, Miss. Felix. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Francisco. No creo que no había Francisco. Uh, Helen. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Miss. Imelda. Present. Thank you, Iris. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. And uh, Juan Menedemo. Present teacher. Here we go. Kenya. Okay. So Kenya is not here. Um, Maria Angelica. Oh, Angelica is not here. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Gabi. Rafael. Present. Gracias. Margarita. Present. Thank you, Miss Ruben. Ruben se está hace un momento. Judy. Thank you, Miss. And Mauricio. Morris is, is, is ahí you, ese momento. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ok, guys. Eh, solamente quiero darle agradecimientos especiales, you know, a couple of people que estoy revisando acá que tienen 100% de asistencia. So that is like super cool. Eh, Andrea, veo que los tres días anteriores tenemos 120 minutos cabalitos, you know, so thank you for that. Um, I have also... Enrique, thank you so much, Enrique, for your attendance. Um, let me see. I also have 
um, uh, let me see. Mr. Menedemo, thank you so much for your attendance too. I see Angelica, well, ya la, ya reven, lastimosamente ya terminó el, el record. <laughs> she didn't come today. Um, I also have Rafael with very nice attendance and I have Judy, so thank you so much guys. Eh, gracias por acompañarnos, guys. Gracias por estar, you know, acá. Yo sé que son dos horas un poquito difíciles, but thank you so much for your attendance. La próxima semana vamos a empezar a trabajar un poquito la parte de improvisación, you know, para que vayamos eh, sacando un poquito más vocabulary and everything. Les voy a estar compartiendo en la plataforma un ejercicio de pronunciación. Les voy a compartir también para la próxima semana eh, una lista de vocabulario que podemos comenzar a trabajar, al igual que pronunciación. Um, para ahora, guys. Quiere? Yes, dígame. ¿Por qué no los manda el WhatsApp? Lo que sucede es que debe de quedar um, evidencia en la plataforma, you know, por requisitos de Instaport. Para mí es mucho más fácil uh, WhatsApp, sin embargo, algunos ejercicios no, sí es obligatorio. Yo digo, yo digo aparte de, de Instaport, ¿no? así, así nosotros no podemos ya, porque a mí ya me está gustando más este pronunciamiento. Cool. cool, sounds good. No, lo, a lo que me refiero es que los ejercicios sí debe de quedar evidencia, you know, que, que tienen ejercicios dentro de la plataforma. That's why. Pero, por ¿Qué? supuesto, les puedo compartir más información adicional. Eh, Mr. Menedemo, me regala 10 eh, minutitos, please, para nuestra sesión one on one. Chicos, nos bueno. feliz día al padre de the rest of you y pues quienes son madres también. Oh. <laughs> Again, happy, uh, happy day. See you on Monday. Vamos a ver. Happiness. Mañana, Happiness. So see you on Monday. Bye bye. bye Have a good day. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, Gabby was there. Was leaving the third. Okay. Tell me a second, Mr. Menedemo. Okay, there we go. So, gracias por, gracias por quedarse la sesión one on one. Thank you so much for staying in the one on one session. Eh, well, ahorita es como la oportunidad que tenemos para aprovecharla al máximo y para ya dedicarle 10 minutos, right, um, a su eh, desarrollo, a ver cómo le podemos ayudar, right, eh, qué podemos hacer para que, como usted dice, ya le empezó a gustar, entonces para hacer que se termine de enamorar de este idioma y para que vayamos ya empezando a crear ideas, you know, compartir um, oraciones. Dígame. Hay veces uno vaya, como no practica casi, va a darle vaya una y se, en vez de hacerle, usted me preguntó a qué ve, vaya, o cómo contestar bien. No se preocupe, no worries, ese es un proceso. Y me, y me decía la señorita anterior, güey. Uh -huh. Ángel me dice, si no tenga pena, me pregunta, pregunta, me dice, ¿qué claro. yo? Ajá, entonces claro. me bueno. De hecho, sí, pues. eh, me gusta mucho que usted you know, intenta participar. So you try to, lo veo súper activo en el chat. Eh, well, súper genial con la asistencia. No me ha faltado ningún día. Se me conecta súper a tiempo. Eh, y lo veo que está intentando. Entonces de eso se trata. Ahora lo solo que vamos decirle a hacer, que, dígame. Solo decirle que los martes sí, porque ves, tengo reunión en la iglesia oh. y vengo algo tardecito ahí. Oh. No, but, pero de ahí hecho, por los demás días no hay problema no, si sí lo veo conectado súper temprano so that is amazing. Uh -huh. entonces Mr. Menemo ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? vamos a empezar a trabajar un par de cosas right, que nos vayan a ayudar eh, primero vamos a ordenar nuestras ideas eh, and creo que el, eh, por ahí he notado que tiene eh, como una parte con la parte con la gramatical you know, eh, en organizar las ideas se le está complicando un poquito y vamos a trabajar uh -huh. también pronunciación so, con pronunciación yo le voy a mandar un ejercicio ahorita que terminemos um, y vamos a hacer esta técnica que es de um, no sé si se tiene, tiene hijos do you have children no children. Nephews, nieces. Ok, pero quizás se recuerda, right? Cuando eh, ha visto a un niño pequeño y empieza a hablar. 
que ellos eh, en salvadoreño arremedan a alguien, imitan cuide, a alguien. Yo cuidé a mis hermanos, hermanitos pequeños y, ah, a, okay. y a unas hermanas parte de, de, de la Entonces usted se recuerda que exactamente ellos intentaban hablar como alguien más, a, agarraban mm -hmm. palabras. Lo que vamos a hacer en esta técnica es, usted pues, la escucha, la lee, porque está el, el texto, la escucha, mm -hmm. la lee, Súper despacio puede disminuir la velocidad con la que se lee, pero luego necesito que usted se grabe. I need you to record yourself y que me lo diga con la misma pronunciación, con la misma velocidad, and sobre todo que se escuche lo más similar posible al video que usted acaba de escuchar. Vamos a intentar de esa forma trabajar pronunciación y vocabulario. Uh -huh. la, todas las palabras nuevas que usted vea, tenga por ahí un cuadernito, una, una página, uh -huh. la no, escribe. Vaya, super. Ok, ahora vamos a practicar algo más. Vamos a practicar algo que quizás, no sé si usted lo hace, uh, pero eso me ayudó mucho. And, um, it can help yo busco, yo practico Googlingo en veces. Y ah, Googlingo es good. 300 palabras en inglés y en... ahí están los, salen los simples, los compuestos y los de lo que nos estaba diciendo anteriormente. Para gramática. Ajá, gramática. Sí, sí funciona bastante. It works a lot. Vale, le voy Hay a mostrar. Hay verbos que es. Uh -huh. Ajá. Hay dígame, verbos dígame. que dice, dice que, que hay verbos que se reutilizan y hay verbos que no se... Solo se reutilizan para cualquier tipo de conversion, pero en diferente gramatical. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. I mean, es súper útil Duolingo y qué bueno que, que usted lo utilice como adicional, ¿verdad? Porque yo también mm -hmm. lo he utilizado para otros idiomas. And, and it's okay, it's okay. Vale, vamos a activar, vamos a intentar poner en práctica esta técnica. Mm -hmm. Vamos a leer la conversación. Y a la par de cada palabra, de ser posible, en su nota, en su cuaderno, en lo que utiliza para tomar notas, vamos a intentar mm -hmm. ir haciéndolo para que se nos haga más fácil. Eh, lea conmigo. Hi, Edgar. Hi, Edgar. I wonder. I wonder. If you could give me some pointers. You could give me some. Ok. Uh, ok, vamos a detenernos ahí. Y ahora, uh -huh. aquí, a la par de cada palabra, yo voy a es escribir como yo la escucho. Porque recuerde que inglés no es igual que el español. Se escribe uh -huh. de una forma, pero se pronuncia bien diferente. Por ejemplo, esta eh. palabra could. 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 Se escribe. Could. Ajá. I wonder could. if you could. Vaya, ahora léame uh, con esta. I wonder if you could. Could. Uh -huh. Léame este pedazo. I wonder if you could. I, uh, I wonder you could only. Ah, vaya, pero vamos a leer pedacito por pedacito. If you could. If you could. Ajá, ok. Y luego dice, give me. Give, give me. me. Give, give me. me. Ajá, se oye así, give. Give me. Ok, vamos otra vez. Ay, Edgar, I wonder you could cool. give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Ajá, y luego tenemos la siguiente palabra que se pronuncia, some. Son. 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 Ok, vaya. Ahora, ok, ahora léamelo. Léame todo el pedazo. Intente leerme el pedazo que está abajo. Ay, I wonder you go guide me son finer and fine and you call. Ok, I ok, done. let's stop it there. Vamos palabra por uh -huh. palabra. Give ah, me sí, sí. some pointers. Pointer. Ajá. Tu plan. Tu plan. The new course. The new course. ¿Cómo escucha esa palabra? ¿Cómo escucha la palabra curso? Course. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Course. Vale, entonces lo vamos a escribir así como usted lo escucha para luego tener una referencia. Vale, léame eh, otra vez, léamelo otra vez. Pointer apply you. Pero y el tú course. no me lo dijo. Ah, <ríe> Pointers, pero... ajá. Pointer to plan uh -huh. the new course. 
There you go. There you go. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que ha cambiado? ¿Y por qué ahora se la escucha más claro? Bien fácil. Porque usted está repitiendo la forma como se pronuncia, no la forma como yeah. se escribe, right? Así Entonces, es. right. esto ayuda muchísimo. A mí me ayudó mucho con la parte de pronunciación porque yo la escuchaba y luego la decía como la escuchaba, right? So, right. Te damos con el último pedacito. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Sí, pero decimos el to. To ah, start. Sí, sí, sí. I don't know where to I, start. I don't know where to start. Otra vez. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Y el to me lo comió. I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay, super bien. Vamos del inicio otra vez. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you go his make some pointer and play and now you force uh, down not where to start. Oh, much better, much better. That sounded right. That sounded really good. Entonces, vamos a empezar a trabajar esta parte, you know? A veces nos comemos un par de cosas, but, por ejemplo, uh -huh. to, to plan the new course. New, new course. Repítame esto, the new course. To plan a new course. The new, the new. The new. Ajá, tu plan, vamos a escribirlo acá. De, tu plan. De new. De new. De new Ajá. Plan. Tu plan de new course. De new plan o course. Espérame, solo se lo muevo, permítame. Algo así suena. Tu plan de new de, course. De new course. Tu plan de new course. Tu plan o new course. Exacto. Entonces, todos tiene que ver con esto, right? Si usted lo, lo dice así como lo escucha, es más fácil, all right? Entonces, eh, hágame un favor, ¿tiene mi número de WhatsApp? No. Eh, aparezco como Julie, me parece. So, ¿Está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí. Deme este... un momento. Un momento. ¿Cómo Solo aparece? mándeme una, una palabra, mándeme ahí y ya le corresponde. Ah, vale. So, it's hi. Eh, le acabo de escribir en el grupo. So, escríbame ah. este número y yo con gusto le mando el ejercicio. Cuando usted tenga tiempo, si fue el fin de semana, grábese o le pide a alguien que lo grabe. No importa si es 10 veces, 20 veces, 30 veces, hasta que le salga bonito y usted diga, qué bonito se oye esto. <ríe> y me lo envía. Ajá. And you send it over to me para poder revisárselo, ¿verdad? Right? Así, so, así es, teacher. Súper, gracias, teacher. Mr. Menedemo, por el tiempo. Gracias. Y nos vemos feliz día del, well, del padre. Y si no, pues, feliz Ajá. día, anyways. <ríe> gracias. Y nos vemos Bien. hasta el día del lunes. I'll see you Monday. Dios la bendiga. Bless Bless you, you, well. Sigamos adelante. Definitely, okay. yes. Bye-bye. Goodbye.